All right, y'all, so good morning from Hanoi. Uh, day two, and today is gonna be charity day. Uh, I'm working with a very great group called Blue Dragon. Um, they deal a lot with uh, kids that live on the streets and try and get them some education, uh, get them you know, healthy meals for lunch. They offer lunch for free, and it's all nutritional. So you know, it's, uh, I'm all about the UN's sustainable development goals, so it's goals two, three, and four right there for you. Um, so yeah, they're trying to you know fight some poverty as well. Uh, they give these kids you know great educational opportunities, like lots of workshops and stuff. And you know, they deal a lot with uh, children that live on the streets here in Hanoi, and that's how the organization started back in 2003. And they also deal a lot with uh, fighting against sex trafficking. So they work with social workers and lawyers and policemen. Um, really great group. So I can't wait to get there, uh, interview uh, this guy named V, who seems like a rock star. And uh, we've got something fun planned. Some of the kids are gonna come with me and we're gonna make a short film together. Uh, I'm gonna put the camera in their hands, teach them a bit about filmmaking, and then just let them go at it. Uh, but yeah, I gotta get there now. Um, obviously, I can't show their location because it is kind of sensitive, but uh, yeah, really looking forward to today. My name is V. Uh, I am a Crisis Care team leader. I work at Blue Dragon for about nine years. Uh, my job is to going out and finding street kids and uh, help them to get off street and also help them to uh, go to school or vocational training and also help them to unite them back with their families. The history of Blue Dragon is uh, it started in 2003. Uh, at that time I wore a street kid. I signed shoe on the street to make money uh, to help my families. And I met uh, Michael Brasopis. He was the uh, English teacher in Hanoi. I, I offered him to sign in Shu and uh, he offered to teach me to study English. And uh, he also teaching a few other street kids English in a cafe. And later on there were so many kids know that they are following the guy who teach free English classes for street kids. And they start coming. At that time he Michael and uh, his student uh, organized some activity for for me and uh, some other street kids, like soccer, English classes, and it become too many of them coming. And Michael wants to do something more to help them to get up street, including me. And uh, that is how the really started. Uh, we, we start with a few kids studying English in the corners, and the need getting more and more, and Michael thinking like, well, what can he do? To help these people. When I'm working with street kids in Hanoi, I see a lot of them that they used to be in my situation before, but I see something that I see myself in them. They are me when I were living on the streets, and there's no one helping them. So I were in a good position, I understand the street life. Uh, so that is keep me stay at Brooklyn for nine years now. Uh, but uh, I didn't choose to stay here that long. I didn't plan that, but uh, it turned out well. I love what I do. Uh, I think like uh, I'm in a good position to, to help them. Yeah. So at Blue Dragon, we uh, start with Sweet Kid uh, in Hanoi. Uh, but a, a few years later, that we we see the need of like. Uh, of human trafficking uh, uh, victim. So we have victim calling for help that some of victim that uh, they got trafficked and sold into China. And uh, that is how our trafficking, uh, anti-trafficking program uh, started. Uh, our goal and vision is to, uh, to, to stop human trafficking within the country or across the countries also like to provide exceptional care for street kids uh, and for the kids who are in crisis. All over Vietnam, uh, we're having about uh, 1,200 uh, children all over the countries. Uh, with the street kids, each year we meet about 100 uh, children and we help them to go back with their family and with vocational training. Our number is uh, changing every day and every week because our rescue operation uh, it happened every every week and our 
our team also like going out on the street every day to find more street kids. So we help them to uh, have a safe place they can stay. Yeah. Uh, how are we doing that? So, so that's say we have a legal team uh, who going out into China. We go to garment factory, we go to brothels uh, to rescue uh, women, girls, young girls. Uh, who have been shown traffic to a brothel or uh, to become a bride. So we rescue them and take them back to Vietnam. And after that, we help them to uh, report to the police and also help the victim uh, to go back to school, help the victim to go back to the communities and also to vocational training. For the street kid program in Hanoi, that our team every night going out on the street to find kids who live under the brick, the kids who who living at, in the park, or uh, the kids who, who have been uh, abused uh, on the street, and we help them to get off the street. And we have a home uh, to and safe place for them to come and stay there. Um, a lot of them are victim of uh, sexual abuse. A lot of them are also like having drug problems. Also, some of them have also like uh, uh, have serious illness. So we help them. Uh, with all of those so they can uh, get off street and uh, having a better life. We're excited that uh, for the work that we do, we make a huge difference. We, we have people to change their life. Um, we see a lot of, we fight with a lot of problems, we fight with a lot of difficult situations, but somehow we, uh, we turn it turn it uh, to be a good so we turn out like in a good uh, ending so uh, that is excited to end and uh, because we always fight with the challenge and uh, and problem like that uh, is the uh, keep us like always motivating uh, make the big impact to people so at Blue Legends, that uh, we have uh, many different programs and for different kids. So we have skateboard, we have soccer, we have uh, dance class for the kids, we have hip hop classes, we have music classes, uh, we have painting classes, we have a garden programs uh, for the kids, we have swimming. Uh, so that's for those programs that we create for the kids that each of them can find something that they love, they're passionate about. They, it helps them to gain their uh, skill, gain their confidence, uh, also make them uh, happy. Yeah. yeah. So at Blue Legends, when uh, the victim of human trafficking, when we rescue them, uh, or street kid, when we help them to get up street, they come to our centers, and we have drop-in center where or where we have social worker, we have game. We have uh, classes so the kid can attend, but also that the plate that's set for the kid to hang around. And we provide free lunch for street kids uh, because a lot of them, when they live on the street, they, they eat very uh, unhealthy food. So the nutrition program also very important to help them to grow. And we have uh, the gym, we have uh, uh, classes. Uh, IT classes, we have photography classes that to help them to uh, creative, to help them to enjoy it, uh, and also help them to learn. I think one of our greatest challenge is to uh, to care for the uh, for the survivors, for the victim of human trafficking or uh, sexual abuse. Uh, for us, it's a great challenge uh, because uh, it's. For them that they go through a lot of trauma, they go through a lot of uh, difficult time and they have a complex psychologist. Um, yeah, to care for them is our great challenge. But uh, the power of, uh, of love of, and caring for the victim are really important that, that because of people care for them, people uh, understand and, and uh, love them. So that is the reason that they start caring for themselves and they start believing in themselves. And, uh, and the way that we work is we focus on their strength and their, um, uh, 
uh, the thing they are good at and help them that to be confident and and because they believe in themselves and they 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 can try different thing then they they can see that oh they can do that and and they and they start uh, something that they can do with their life a lot of time that we worry that do we have enough resource that to have uh, people in it so because uh, more people calling us for help uh, then we also worry about our fundings uh, we worry about our safety as well uh, for our work I think like wherever you are uh, you can uh, help on your own ways uh, you don't have to work for NGO to help someone else you can use your skills, your passion, uh, your strengths uh, to do things that around your communities, help people in need around you. Uh, you can involve that, you can uh, get in touch on Facebook with us, you can share uh, or you can uh, organize fundings and uh, do things that, uh, that, that you could like uh, in your daily life. Yeah. All right, y'all. So we've got a few kids here, and uh, I've kind of showed them like the basics of filmmaking. They know uh, about photography, so like the technical aspects. But uh, here we are. They're laughing at me right now, talking to a camera. Um, but here, I'll show you guys. And uh, we're going to use all my gear, and they're right now they're discussing coming up with a concept for a short film. So. Yeah, we're gonna shoot a short film with these kids and show you show you guys. Uh, that's gonna be what's coming up next. So, cue their short film. y'all so i just finished up with blue dragon it was a great amazing day i really hope y'all will get involved with such a group that's trying to you know help kids and they're trying to rescue them from the streets they're trying to you know get them out of uh you know trafficking rings just all sorts of stuff that kids shouldn't have to deal with uh, and i had so much fun getting to make a short film with the kids it's called friends uh, i really hope y'all enjoyed it even if you don't speak vietnamese uh, you can kind of get the message you know no matter what happens we can all be friends uh, so yeah i hope that y'all will get involved and you know a big shout out to all my friends at blue dragon and thanks for having me but it's time to get some work done. I gotta make this video. So I will see y'all for my next great adventure. It's gonna be so much fun.